In just a few years' time, our hospitals could become dangerous places for patients, with many people dying from simple operations. The reason is that common infections are becoming more and more resistant to antibiotics. Hip replacements, uh, knee replacements, would become much more risky because of the risk of un untreatable infection developing afterwards. And also some cancer treatments like bone marrow transplants would become completely impossible. There's now real urgency to find new drugs. The problem is it's very difficult and incredibly expensive. It's led scientists from around the world to look for cures in some unlikely places. Cool, wow. <laughs> it's a to totally different world. It is, yes. Well, Ian, I can see they're quite obviously ants, but they're a lot bigger than the ones we get here in the UK. Indeed. These are leafcutter ants, which come from the New World. They come from uh, South America. When these ants build their nests, they create a fungus garden. That is a fungus that they feed to their larvae. And it's created by chewing up leaf material. And the fungus grows on that. And they maintain it. And the fungus can become contaminated by unwanted bacteria and fungus. So the ants culture a bacteria on their bodies, which they can actually use to control the unwanted bacteria and fungus that can grow within the fungus garden. So basically, these ants are creating their own antibiotics. Precisely. Antibiotics are not a money spinner for drug companies. They cost a fortune to develop, and there's no guarantee they'll get a return on their investment. The risk is that after a few years, their new antibiotics might not be effective anymore. We are commercial entities, but we do have a moral obligation to play our part in solving the problem. We have the knowledge, we have a huge amount of knowledge in our organisations. We need to share that collaboratively. We need to work with various other agencies to get these new medicines made available for the doctor to use appropriately. Scientists are now harvesting the antibiotics the ants produce. It's still early days, but the team are quietly confident. I think realistically, if we look hard enough, that we're going to find novel antibiotics produced by the bacteria living on these ants that will be useful in human medicine. In a sense, it's too late already because there are lots of multi-drug resistant bacteria that you can't treat with antibiotics anymore. At the, at the moment, it's a small problem, so a small minority of people in the world suffer. Um, but in the future, if we don't discover new antibiotics, then we're going to be in big trouble.